All right. We are here at the insurance company. I'll be sending you to follow around some of the professionals who work here so that you can see exactly what they do on a daily basis. So, Manier, this insurance company promotes health, ne? Maybe I can go see if they have a gym and maybe I can do a set or two. You, Kakiso, Zuri and Chantel, you will be shadowing the finance manager. Maybe she can teach you to count further than two. So, you do accounting. You're the guys that count money that is not yours. My dad calls you guys bean counters. Could never be me. <laughs> well, good morning to you too, lad. I'm the finance manager. I basically manage a team that prepares the company's financial statements for shareholders. Doesn't sound much like bean counting, right? <laughs> well, now what are you laughing at? You never say anything in class and not because there are fancy people here you want to act smart. Oh, come on, Kahiso. We are to learn. Let's be serious. So, ma'am, what qualifications do I need to become a finance manager? Glad you asked. Let's go to the boardroom. I'll share more with you there. To be a finance manager, one has to be a qualified chartered accountant. CA for short. So you mean to tell me that we're now you're a whole chartered accountant? You! That sounds great. You must have studied a lot to be a CA, right? I'd really like to be one someday. So what did you study to be a CA, ma'am? I did a three-year bachelor's degree in accounting at university. Then I went on to do my honors degree, which is also called CTA. You must be really smart then. That's at least another four years of studying after high school. Let me guess. You also did maths in high school. Spot on. I also did accounting. Math, however, was the most important. So after graduating for university, did you do any kind of training? Of course. So, is there an internship in this bean counting career? After university, you go through an intense three-year training program offered by different companies, even insurance companies like ours. Shoo! Sounds hectic. Yep. During the three years of training, you are also required to write two more exams before you qualify as a CA. Eh, eh, eh. Hi. No, guys. So, studying in university was not enough. This is too much for me. Hi, Ngeg. I wonder what BK is up to. He's probably having more fun than us. So, where did you do your training? I was trained at an accounting and audit company. These companies offer most of the training to aspiring CAs. So, insurance companies also offer training? Yes, insurance companies now offer the training. They differ from audit companies in that the training is done at different company functions like business development, finance, distribution and the likes. Hmm, I see. If I may add, did you know that being a CA gives you international opportunities? So you're bragging to us now, ma'am? I was merely stating facts. Once you qualify as a CA, you can choose to work anywhere in the world. International, international girls. girls! Come on now, don't just watch. Like our video and leave a comment. Click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the notifications too.